Okay, Scorpio. This is your yearly 12 card spread. And you know this is very, this is very general. So I just like to say that because basically it's one playing card for each month. So that's very general. And Scorpio, I mean, there's, you know, Scorpio, how many Scorpios? And they're all in different places in their lives. And then there's Scorpio moon, Scorpio rising. So, you know, this is what it is. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's all right. If it does, even better. And if you like what we're doing here, don't forget to subscribe and share us with your friends. And if you have a question that you want to get in before the full moon ritual tomorrow night, comment below or send me an email. We'll get you in. All right. Look, the more we help each other, we're always, and we're all of us, we're stronger when we work together. I mean, try to build a house alone. How are you doing? <laughs> but you have 40 people helping you build that house, and you know, you can get it done. Okay, here we go, Scorpio. So in January, Scorpio, your first card here is the Eight of Hearts, which means it's, it's like, I always think of that like the birds and the bees. So there's some lust, there's some flirting, maybe you got a new love, a new love interest, that's January. In February, you have the Ten of Wands, you're feeling, feeling a little overwhelmed. Maybe this person is really into you and you're not exactly so sure, you're feeling like maybe they need to back off a little bit, they're stressing you out, that's okay. Now in March, you have the Eight of Clubs, which the Eight of Clubs is like shop talk. It's like, you think about um, like guys talking like in the back room or you know, people gathered around the coffee pot in the morning at the office talking crap. That's what that is. In April, you have the Seven of Diamonds and the Seven of Diamonds is coming up for so many people lately. It's having a hard time balancing love and work. Like either putting all your all your eggs into your career and trying to manage your money, or it's not even paying attention to what's going on in your career and it's all about love. It's all about your personal relationship. So trying to find a balance there can be difficult. The Five of Hearts is another one that keeps coming up. The Five of Hearts is like the Five of Cups. It's not seeing the bright side of the situation. It's um, a little bit of worry, but it's more like... Um, Looking at the glass is half empty. Don't look at the glass as half empty. Look at it as half full. Okay. Now, by the time we get to, this is January, February, March, April, May, June, the Seven of Hearts, it looks like you've got some choices here. So the Seven of Hearts, you could have choices. You may be um, choosing between two loves. And you may choose to be with the water sign because you, here you have the Loving Mother card, which could be um, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or it could, this could be you. But in this type of a spread, I'm really kind of thinking that it's somebody else. Now, January, February, March, April, May, June, that's July. July, come August, you've got the Five of cup, uh, Clubs, which is like the Five of Wands, and it's sort of like little arguments, a little bit of bickering. The Fives are kind of restless. It might be like trying to break free, um, sometimes squabbling because you're not sure if you're happy, you know, like picking fights, you know, just look out for that. And the three of hearts, Scorpio, you could get involved with another party. So maybe this is what's happening here. You're picking fights because maybe you have a new interest. And that interest could be an air sign because you have the queen of spades here. The interest would be um, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, and that's late in the year. That's like October. And then you've got another one that comes in, the King of Clubs, which is a fire sign. And he's generally a man that you can trust, the King of Clubs. He's a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And then in... You got the four of clubs 
in December, which is sort of like the happy home card to me. It's it, this is more of like a celebration, but this would be equal to the four of wands, which would be like marriage, celebration, engagement. The four of hearts to me is more of like the happy home, but the four of cups in tarot is more of like um, being unsure and contemplative and taking a step back. So, it, you know, they, they're basically the same, but there are little differences. Now, your overall feeling for the year is the five of diamonds, which means that you kind of feel like all year you're a little bit worried about money. I don't know why, because there's nothing really showing that you should be worried about money here. But, you know, that's all right if you're a little worried about money, Scorpio. So that's about it. Doesn't look like it's going to be a bad year for you. It does look like you could be involved with two people or have two love interests at some point, but you know what? Whatever. All right. If you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Chart, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.